Hi guys, it's Danny. Okay, so I'm back from my vacation. It's nice to be back and to see my girls again. Uh, but today I'm going to show you my sick orchids actually and I'm going to tell you what happened to each and every one of them and I think it's really time to let go of some orchids. So here we go. This is actually a corner that I made for the sick orchids but also the kind of tiny orchids but they're mostly pretty sicklish orchids here or um, orchids that really have some question marks. So I'll show you what happened to some of the orchids you might have asked in the past um, and we'll see if it's time to let go of them. Alrighty, so this is the Epidendrum Pseudepidendrum. This is one of those orchids that was instantly potted in that coconut husk media. I'm gonna say the name, I'm sorry, it's the or Orchid Focus media and I'm pretty sure I got a bad batch and I'll tell you why, I'll show you why actually. Uh, I am not touching that stuff again. I'm sorry, I have better alternatives. The brand might be very good. I might have just been very unlucky, but that's that. I'm not touching it again. Doesn't mean you don't have to use it if you're happy with it, but yeah. Anyway, so this guy has developed a lot of really weirdish spots. Also, the leaves fall. Um, they dry off and fall pretty, pretty fast. It doesn't grow so well, does not produce roots, and everything happened ever since I repotted it in that media. Since then I actually transferred it to something else but it's really not getting any better. For the last year it really didn't do anything. Whatever grows it starts to grow they just they just die off. Now I tested it for virus. It's not a virus or at least not the viruses that I tested it for. Um, it might be an infection that seriously damaged the orchid. Right now this orchid is very weak and I'm sure it will take a lot of years for me to try to make it better if it will get better and it's just too hassling for me. I cannot bear to see it every day like this and that's that. I kind of learned my lesson. Alrighty, this is one that I ordered from Schwerter. Now this is one that I did not order from Schwerter but it kind of suffered the same fate. And I'll show you how the media looks after one year and almost a half of use. Do you see all this mold? Yeah. Do you see how bad the roots look like? Yeah, they're not good. And this is the type of orchid that, that does not stay moist for a lot of time. This is a Brassavola nodosa. Also, do you see how spotted the leaves are? And also I had a lot of spots on the leaves as well. Uh, some of the pseudobulbs have just died. I will not say goodbye to this one because it is producing some new growth, but I will repot it instantly and give it another go because it's a Brassavola nodosa, but I will order another Brassavola nodosa Little Stars from Schwerter because I did see they have it. I'm not sure if this one will make it, it's not doing great. It looked beautiful when I got it, I potted it in, the, in this media and yeah, this is what happened. See, So I am not going to let this go, but I will definitely let this one go. I cannot, cannot see it anymore. Alrighty, this is the Neo Phoenicia. This is one that I got from Schwerter at different times, actually. Everything went bad ever since I repotted it. I did make a video on repotting this orchid. It looked beautiful. If you remember, um, I think I will add it somewhere so you can see. It looked green, it looked nice. The orchid was beautiful. I potted it in that media and behold, this is what happened. I might not let this go because it is producing some leaves that look slightly better. I did repot it into something else and it is growing roots. But all of these leaves, the past leaves, there you go, some rotting here. They're not doing great. Uh, I, I cannot stand to look at this, but, you know, it has this green leaf here, so I might keep it for a little longer. But, yeah, that's what happened to the Neo Phoenicia. Alrighty, what else? Oh, this is the Arrangus, the one that survived. This, uh, yeah, this is not, this is sick for different reasons. It had a very bad infestation of spider mites. It lost a lot of leaves. And actually I treated it with the hairspray thingy and the spider mites are gone and it produced some new leaves. I'm definitely not gonna let this go, but yeah, she she's just really sick. This is recuperating as well, you already know, uh, the Sideria, so I'm not gonna get rid of it because I do like it. And um, from this corner, I'm not sure. Everything else looks quite decent, so yeah, I'm not gonna let them go. Okay, I'll show you some other orchids. 
Okay, this is the Dendrobium Fleckery, again potted in that orchid focus thing, and as you can see, it lost a lot of leaves, still losing leaves. I want to repot it, but I'm not sure if I should keep it. I actually paid 5 euros for this one, it was a discounted orchid. I'm already seeing the new growth is starting to get spots as well, and considering that the other orchids did not make it, see, this is what I'm talking about. It has been tested, it's not virused, so I don't know what the heck that media contained but as you can see it's really not looking great it is not vigorous quite at all and it's losing leaves like crazy again with that media and i do have another case of this um let me see this is the encyclia cochleata i repotted this one but as you can see i have the spots on the leaves i don't want to throw this away because i i did get a sort of a replacement for this one but i'm gonna hold on to it to see how the new growth appears but yeah she's not the happiest girl again she's not virus because i tested it um so yeah i don't know what it is it might have been spider mites that's what i thought initially but no the symptoms are pretty much the same and i do have another one with the same symptoms hold on okay this is the original encyclia cardigera the leaves are horrifying I tested it three times. It's not virus. But I don't know what it is. I did repot it from that media and it started to grow roots. It also started to grow a new growth. So I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to hold on to it. Although I did order another Encyclia Cordigera, which is fabulous. She is amazingly healthy. So yeah, <laughs> the funny thing with this one, it was healthy and nice for about half a year. I repotted it into the, the Orchid Focus media and instantly this happened. So again, and it was not ordered at the same time with the other ones actually. So it's not that I had bad experience with the, that particular batch from Schwerter. And it's not only on the Schwerter orchids. So yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show you some other orchids you might have forgotten about. I'll show you how they're doing. I'll be right back. Okay, believe it or not, this is the Phalaenopsis mini mark. It was so attacked by spider mites last summer that it lost all its leaves. So the way I treated it was with the hairspray and it worked. It's spider mite free and it's recuperating. It will produce very tiny, small, very tiny, sorry, leaves for a while. But at least it does not have spider mites anymore. And I'm sorry, today is a very overcast day and... My camera has trouble focusing. But yeah, this is what happened to it. The root system is in very good condition. But I have a worry with this one. I read somewhere on a forum that in Europe all mini marks are virused. I don't know. Maybe they're just stupid rumors. But I will make a test or perform a test on this one. I didn't want to cut any of the leaves because it is such a suffering orchid. But yeah, it's separate right now. And when it will grow some more leaves, I will cut one of the leaves and test it. Actually, so this is the mini mark. Okay, this is the Phalaenopsis that my neighbor gave to me. It did well for two days. And then I started to notice that the crown was really not in good shape. And what happened was it crown rotted. <laughs> Although I didn't put water in the crown. So um, there are two possibilities here. Either I put water in the crown and I did not notice it. Either it had water in the crown and I did not notice it. Anyway, bottom line is this orchid was almost saved. But it's gonna die because there's nothing alive anymore here and uh, it was too weak to be saved because it was already in a bad shape if it were to be healthy maybe i could have saved the crown rot thingy um but yeah no i'm sorry this little girl will not make it it had some issues that were invisible i'm pretty sure of that or i did uh, manage to rot the crown i'm not sure it's one of these two possibilities and already it was a weak individual that was not treated correctly for a lot of time so yeah Sorry to say this, guys, but this orchid will not make it, unfortunately. But what can you do? Life goes on. Alrighty, that up there is the Gongora, which was potted in that orchid focus media once again. So immediately after repotting, it started to not do so well. I re-repotted it into something else, and it's starting to grow a new growth here, and one in the back. They're very tiny and puny. Uh, so it's going to take a while, but I will hold on to it because it seems to want to live. And yeah, I do have some hopes for that one. But yeah, this is what happened to the Gongora. Okay, enough bad news. This is the Busso Blanche Oncidium. I did a video on it, on how to save it and so on. And it has a slow recovery, but it is recovering. It has a new growth there. And I've also seen 
um, a tiny new root so that's encouraging it will take a lot of time for this one to recover because it really was in a very bad shape and if you didn't see that video I'll add uh, a link towards it in the description below so you see how it actually was it was in a very bad shape but there we go we have a new growth starting right here we do not have any snails in the pot which is nice so once more roots will start to appear everything will be better but yeah he's doing well at least him and I also have another one which is doing well this is the Kalia orchid we recently repotted and um, if you remember I told you that I'm not sure how fast this will recover because the connection between the pseudobulbs was severed and this bulb was pretty much almost separated from the others. But I did repot it and behold we have a lot of root growth coming here and also here I did add just a little bit of sphagnum moss for these new roots to develop better but uh, this orchid really does not need any more sphagnum moss because the bark chips were kind of tiny compared to how they are usually. So yeah, the sphagnum moss will go away once the roots grow, but at least she's doing well. This is the pink Calia orchid, which smells like heaven. If heaven would have a smell, this is how it would smell like. So yeah, I'm not gonna let this go no matter what, because it's a beautiful orchid. Um, okay, I have another thing to show you. Okay, the Encyclia vitalina, if you remember, I was kind of stressed with it because it has color break. It did not show virus yet. <laughs> But the new growth is looking weird, so this will stay separate. I will definitely separate this one because I don't trust it. I don't trust that it's healthy. And yeah, sadly, sadly, it might have a virus which is just taking over. It doesn't show on tests because it might not have enough concentration. Or I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's not. But um, I don't like the looks of things. So as a side note, I kind of wrote to Wickman, I told them that I have a problem with the transport and here is an unboxing video and so on. So I did write to them, I gave them my feedback, they never replied, which doesn't really happen with Schroeter. Maybe I had a very bad experience, but you know what, one of my viewers uh, told me that she got five virus Catlias out of six. With the same breaking of the colors and so on from Wickman. And you know what? I lost a lot of money already <laughs> with my sick orchids and I'm not in the mood to lose any more money because I will need a lot of money soon if I want to move. So <laughs> I will not, definitely not order from, from Wickman anymore. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, it's just me. I have such a good relationship with Schroeter and such good orchids that, you know, at least if I have a problem they will reply and give me my money back. So yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not a happy puppy. She was 22 euros. Expensive expensive so no more no more for me so okay these were my sick orchids and unfortunately sometimes I just have to let some of them go because I cannot bear to see them not do okay and keeping in mind that some individuals are really not strong individuals and in the end maybe there's nothing I can do to make them better yeah, I just, I will let them go and that is that and I will make sure not to use the bad stuff that I used. So I guess it's a learning curve. So I guess we learn as we go and sometimes we do have to let go of some orchids because they're simply not okay, not worth it anymore. And that is that. And just make room for new orchids and make room for more knowledge and um, yeah, for better care in the future. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this. I know you guys have asked me for a lot of updates on some orchids and this is a sort of an overall update on the sick orchids. If you'd like to see other orchids that maybe I forgot, oh, keep in mind some orchids have been already thrown away. All the zygopetalums have died really fast. Same symptoms, they were potted in the orchid focus media, but the symptoms and the dots and everything they went through the orchid like in a matter of months and the orchid was dead and that's it. So I'm not sure, maybe one day I'll get another zygopetalum, but I don't know, dude. I already killed three. I'm not sure. So <laughs> yeah, we'll see what to do about that. But yeah, if you want to see other orchids that I forgot to show you, just let me know. Some orchids have already been moved in the other balcony, like the pleonies. The pleonies look wonderful. So yeah, if you just want to see other updates of other orchids, just let me know. Sometimes I actually forget about some orchids. I forget that I didn't film them for some time. So just let me know. Alright, if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. You can leave me comments and suggestions in the comment section below. We will have the giveaway probably in the weekend. So I'm really looking forward for that. A lot of surprises. I cannot wait. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Bye.